Hello everyone, welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you all trending news and information on things happening around the world. I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. However, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen, written in red, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon by its side so that you can get notification whenever a new story is published. Thank you and stay tuned. The running mate to the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and the 2019 presidential candidate, Peter Obi, has lamented that the Southeast has not been treated fairly in the political leadership of Nigeria. Obi claimed that every part of the country has been treated with equity, but the Southeast has not been treated fairly. He stated this while reacting to the possibility of the Southeast producing Nigerian's president in 2023. Featuring on Arise News Morning Show, the former Anambra state governor said there were people who could govern this country effectively and who have the capacity to turn the economy around for good, but that Nigerian's flawed electoral process would not allow, the, allow it. He said, it is only fair that you treat every part of the nation fairly and equally. Are Igbos being treated fairly? The answer is no. For me, I believe we should restructure this country in such a way that every part of the country would be competitive and we would get the best out of our resources. Obi also described the 2020 budget recently presented to the National Assembly as empty, stressing that it would not enhance production and growth of the micro, small and medium scale industries. He said, we have not looked at the quantum of the budget compared to the size of the country. I have made a study of the budget of 24 countries and I have followed it religiously and I can give you an example of what is happening. Let us use examples of BRICS, Brazil, Russia, Indonesia, China and South Africa nations and MINT economies which, is, which comprises of Mexico, Indonesia, Nigeria and Turkey. Of all these countries, there is none whose budget is less than 15% of its GDP, except Nigeria. Brazil has a population of 210 million people with a GDP of $3 billion. Their budget is $803 trillion. Nigeria has a population of 200 million and a GDP of $400 billion, and the budget of the 2018 was $22 billion. If you look at these countries and share their budget with their population, you will see that Nigeria is the worst. Yet none of them have more than 5% of the people of their people living under poverty. In our own case, 50% of our people are living under poverty and our budget is so low. The 2020 budget that we are clapping about is not up to Indonesia's budget for education. So we have a crisis and we need to look at what these countries are doing right that we are not doing. The budget that you think is big is empty in itself and to worsen it, you cannot fund it. Raising revenue is very simple. All right, what are your thoughts on what uh, Peter Obi has said? Kindly drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.